real people who use phones are Android users and not iPhone users. The actress Anya Taylor-Joy is an iPhone user. During a red carpet event, a fan gave her an Android phone to take a selfie and Anya could not figure it out. My sister and I, we did a whole podcast surrounding this topic because it's been such a huge point of contention. She is an Android user and I am an iPhone user. iPhone's wired capabilities. Yeah. Uh, Apple definitely because all my technology at home is Apple. iPhones. iPhone. I'm Samsung definitely. Did you know that over 30% of smartphone users don't take any extra steps to secure their devices? Think about it, your entire digital life is in that little gadget in your pocket. Imagine if a hacker could get hold of your photos, emails, or even your bank information. In this video, we're going to show you five must-use security features on both Android and iOS that will help keep your data safe from prying eyes and cyber threats. Most people know about passwords and basic security, but did you know there are advanced settings that could double your protection with just a few clicks? By the end of this video, you'll be able to confidently secure your phone against common threats that most users aren't even aware of. Your smartphone is more than just a communication tool, it's a digital vault of your most sensitive data. And with the rising number of cyber attacks and identity theft, it's crucial to stay one step ahead. So, let's get right into it. Here are the top 5 Android and iOS security features you should enable right now. Number 1. Biometric Authentication Biometric authentication is your phone's first line of defense. Gone are the days when a simple four-digit passcode was enough. Today, you have options like fingerprint scanning, facial recognition, and even iris scanning on some devices. What it is, and why it's important. Biometric authentication uses your unique physical traits to unlock your device, making it nearly impossible for someone else to gain access. It's not just about convenience, it's about making your phone impenetrable to anyone but you. Differences between methods Fingerprint recognition available on most Android and iOS devices. It's fast and reliable. Facial recognition advanced and quick, but it's recommended to enable the most secure version like Apple's Face Idaho or Android's IR-based recognition to avoid spoofing. Iris scanning less common but even more secure than facial recognition due to the unique patterns in your iris. How to set it up For iPhone users, go to Settings then Face Idaho and Passcode or Touch Idaho and Passcode. On Android, head to Settings then Security then Biometrics and follow the prompts to register your fingerprint or face. By enabling biometric authentication, you ensure that no one can access your device without your direct physical presence. Now let's move on to an often overlooked but critical feature app permissions management. Number 2 App Permissions Management Apps can be sneaky. They often ask for permissions that they don't need, like accessing your microphone, camera, or even your contacts. If you're not careful, you could end up giving apps the ability to spy on you or steal your personal information. Why it's important Unnecessary permissions can lead to data leaks, privacy violations, and even security breaches. For instance, a simple flashlight app shouldn't need access to your location or call logs. Reviewing these permissions regularly can help you prevent apps from collecting data without your consent. How to review and restrict permissions. On Android, go to Settings then Apps and Notifications then App Permissions and toggle off any permissions that seem unnecessary. For iOS, head to Settings then Privacy and check which apps have access to different types of data like your camera, microphone, and location. Real-world examples In 2019, a popular weather app was caught selling users' location data to third-party advertisers. Had users restricted this app's access to location services, this breach could have been avoided. Being vigilant about permissions can protect you from similar data abuses. Up next, let's talk about a critical security layer two-factor authentication. Number No. 3 Two-Factor Authentication Two-factor authentication, or 2 fefe adds an extra layer of security to your accounts. Even if someone gets hold of your password, they won't be able to access your account without the second authentication factor. What is 2 fe and why it's crucial? 
2FA typically requires you to enter a code sent to your phone, use an authentication app, or even plug in a physical security key after entering your password. This prevents hackers from accessing your accounts even if they've stolen your login credentials. Different Methods of 2FA SMS code a code sent to your phone via text. Authentication apps apps like Google Authenticator or Authy generate codes that change every 30 seconds. Hardware keys USB or NFC based physical devices that must be plugged into your phone or computer. How to enable it. For Android go to settings then Google then manage your Google account and enable 2FA. On iOS go to settings then your name then password and security to turn on 2FA for your Apple ID. Enabling 2FA can drastically reduce the chances of unauthorized access to your accounts, but it's also essential to back up your data securely, which brings us to our next feature encrypted backups. Number no 4 encrypted backups. Keeping a backup of your phone's data is vital, but if it's not encrypted, it's vulnerable to hackers. Encrypted backups ensure that even if someone accesses your backup files, they won't be able to read your data without your password. Why it's important. Standard backups are stored in the cloud and can be accessed with your credentials. If someone gets into your Google or Apple account, they could download your backup and access everything on your phone. How to enable encrypted backups. On iOS, go to Settings, then your Nathan iCloud, then iCloud Backup, and toggle on Encrypt Backup. On Android, open the Google Drive app, tap the menu, and go to Backups. Here, enable Encrypted Backups. Encrypted Backups provide an extra layer of safety, ensuring that your private data stays private. Finally, let's talk about the Find My Device feature. Number no 5, Find My Device. Find My Device is a must-have feature that lets you locate, lock or wipe your device if it's lost or stolen. While many users enable it only after losing a phone, setting it up now can save you a lot of trouble later. How it works. On Android, enable it through Settings, then Security, then Find My Device. You can then use Google's Find My Device app or website to locate your phone. On iOS, go to Settings, then Your Name, then Find My, then Find My iPhone and toggle on Enable. Remote Wipe and Lock Features If your phone is stolen you can remotely lock it, play a sound to locate it, or even wipe all data to prevent thieves from accessing your personal information. These 5 security features biometric authentication, app permissions management, two-factor authentication, encrypted backups, and Find My Device can significantly enhance your smartphone security. Make sure to enable all of them to safeguard your data and privacy. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Computer Hackers for more tips on staying secure in today's digital world. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your own security tips.